What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Og. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very multi-purpose uh, guy line. This will work with tarps, tents, whatever. Real simple. When it's completed, this is how I store them in a fast deploy type wrap. And basically what you end up with when this is all done is you end up with a nine foot uh, guy line that's fully adjustable without any hardware. It's all knots. Uh, nine foot or 2.74 meters for those of you in metric land. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this right away. I can see I'm just about to have a cat visitor. There she is. First thing we do is we start out with 10 inches of number 36 bank line or 25.4 centimeters. And we're gonna make a Prusik loop. If you don't know how to make a Prusik loop, please refer to my video on making my knots videos. It's in there is the Prusik loop. And we're just gonna do a real basic one here with overhand knots. And uh, we're gonna call that good. Okay, now you don't want to try to pull these tight with your hands because that narrow line can cut into your hands. So we're going to use a couple toggles and we're <clears throat> going to pull that nice and tight and we end up with our Prusik loop. Okay, next we need 10 feet of bank line and you always want to burn the ends of this bank line when you cut it so you end up with a nice little mushroom head this is going to help prevent your knots from coming loose and the line from fraying okay now this 10 feet or 304.8 centimeters then we want to measure 10 inches which is what I have right there is 10 inches or 25.4 centimeters is 10 inches. And then you want to fold this line right back over like that. And then we want to tie an overhand knot with a loop. Real simple. And then just dress the knot up, dress it all the way down. Okay. Okay. We got it all dressed all the way down. Now we want to pull this tight. You can put one toggle inside the loop. Take the other toggle, wrap it around the line a few times, and just give that a good tug. And you'll see that tightened it all up. Got a little bit of a tail there, but that's okay. We don't mind if we have a little bit of a tail. And then you want to do the same thing to the other side. Now we got a line that if you measure this from end to end, it will be 9 foot or 2.74 meters long. Last thing we want to do is we want to take our Prusik loop and we want to put our Prusik on this line. Once again, you don't know how to do the Prusik properly, please refer to my knot videos. Okay, so there is our Prusik. Then you can take one end that has your tied loop, Lark's head the loop, just like that. Okay, let me do that again. So you have your loop, 
put two fingers and finger and thumb inside it, turn it over like that, that creates a lark's head. That's what a lark's head is. Then feed that over the knot of the prussic loop, tighten that up, and there's our adjustment. Now all you got to do is slide your prussic back and forth, and that's your adjustment. Final, finally, we put it in our hand, we wrap it up until we have about a meter or three feet of cord left dangling. We take it off the hand and we wrap the body. Just like this. And when we get down to the end here, we go ahead, we make an X. Make an X. And we feed this back through. We feed the uh, other loop under the X. Which is much easier to do off camera. <laughs> Okay, and then when you get this, you just go ahead and rotate this. You don't pull the knot through that X. Just rotate the whole thing until it's tight. Just like this. And there is our deployable, adjustable guy line. And it's very versatile. So once you have it in this fast deploy configuration, it's really easy to deploy. You just grab the end that has the prusik that's all adjustable here and you just pull it. And it feeds right out of this bundle. And there you go. Real simple. Unless you have cats like I do. And she just wants to play with that. Taking our tarp we have our grommet here. We have our line and our fast deploy bundle. And what's really nice about this is we can take this end here that has the permanent loop. Let me pull it out. And we can Lark's head that right through here and feed the whole bundle through it. And Lark set it right onto the ground like that. Alternately, if you didn't want to do that and you wanted a quick release, well, let me show you what we can do once I get it off here. Alternately, we could bring the line, the loop through here and bring excess line up to the bottom and toggle this on for a quick release. The other end of the line we have our Prusik hooked up. We just put that around our tent stake and we start adjusting out until we get this as tight as we want it. And what we end up with is our line with our Prusik going down to a tent stake. And there is our improvised shelter, all staked out. Alternately, what you can also do is feed the line through, adding another Prusik, like I've done here, Lark's heading the loop to the Prusik using the knot as a stop, just like we did in the bottom. So now we have two Prusiks here, and the line is twice as short. That's another option you can do with this system.
another thing you can do with this adjustable guy line is add a prusik to it and we have a prusik here we have a prusik here and we have the line crisscrossing like this it's going through our shelter our tarp goes down and around the tent stake and it crisscrosses so you got a prusik here and a prusik here and the two ends crisscross so now this line becomes one-third the length another option you can do is to disconnect the prusik bring this all the way down Lark's head it into a second line right here and now it becomes twice as long going all the way from here to all the way up here so now that line is twice as long in case you want to go around a tree or something and not a tent stake another thing I wanted to point out is how easy it is to remove a second prusik that you have on the line you just grab it here by this part and pull it and it rotates right off another method is to take your loop end larks head it like this and put that around your tent stake so it'll grip the tent stake like that and then do the adjustment end on the tarp so here we got the line going through the gromlet on the tarp and it comes down to our prusik adjustment and that comes down to our lark's head on our tent stake and that's the other way you can set this up and that's all i got to show you on the different ways you can hook this uh, guy line system up as previously noted, you can go around trees, around stumps, around natural objects like that, maybe even a big rock, but uh, you can hook it up quite nicely. This isn't as taunt as I would want, but this is just for demonstration purposes, and I think you will get the idea. Winding them up into a compact package is super easy. Bring the end that has the prusik making this loop around until you have uh, roughly one meter a cord or three feet and then take it wrap it over itself and make a compact little package Then when you get down to this last little bit here, make an X and feed this loop underneath that X. And then just slowly tighten that up. Keep your knot from the loop below the X. Don't go under or through to where you have a loop here. You have your adjustable loop here. Dress it up. And there is your compact guy line. It's that simple. One other thing I wanted to put in is, watch out, this tent stake right here has a very sharp edge, and that's what got me here. It took a chunk of flesh out. It's not the first time it happened. I should know better, but uh, it happens to the best of us. So look out, because this, out in the field if this gets infected could cut your trip very short all right this is the standard loadout for my guy line set i have eight such guy lines right here five extra prusik knots and a couple of toggles and i have a little custom bag that i made to carry all this so the extra prusiks I just kind of fold them up, shove them in here, make sure that little pocket's velcroed over. I take these guy lines, weasel them in here,
And I take at least two toggles, sometimes more. Snug them down in there. Whole thing goes in the bag. That goes in the pack. And with this, I can set up a tarp, a tent, whatever. This is going in uh, a tent I have to replace the lines that came with it because I was not happy with their lines. And the reason I put toggles in there, as you saw in some of the demonstrations I did, you can set up a line with a toggle, plus a couple toggles are nice if I have to tie an extra line, because I do carry bank line with me out in the woods. I mean, remember the video where we made these? I always carry some bank line with me. So I will put cards for the knots and the uh, dog bone cord holder up here somewhere. And uh, that's all I got to say about this episode of Bushcraft Basics. I will see you later on out in those woods. Or maybe Kira will. She's sneaky like that. Thank you for watching.